Hey gang, I'm coming at you today with a review of Epoi by Amazing Lights. I think it's safe to say that this review will likely spark more interest than any I've done since Panoptics. I've thought long and hard about how I wanted to do this review, and the long and short of it is, is that I'm approaching this purely on the level of evaluating the product itself. Controversies and comparisons? I'll do a Google Hangouts later today to answer any questions people may have. The link will be in the description of this video. So let's get this review started. Epoi or Amazing Lights entry into what I've come to think of as kind of the mid-market poi that hover around the $100 mark and meet all all or some of the following criteria. One, they can be used for either glow or day practice. Two, they have multiple lighting modes that also have multiple sub-modes that can be accessed through a variety of different button presses. Three, they are durable and hardy, meant to last several years at least. The Epoi themselves come with a set of single loop handles that connect via a ball bearing swivel to a semi-stretchy cord that then hooks through a small loop of cord made of the same material that then connects to a silicone shell that has the LED apparatus in a cylinder inside. All glow modes are activated by pushing a single button. Push quickly to cycle through modes or to turn the poi on. Hold for two seconds to turn them off, or hold for three seconds to access a given mode's submodes. They recharge with a micro USB cord that pokes through a seam in the silicone shell. So how are they to use and spin? Honestly, my reaction is split between moments of thinking they made some really good choices and some moments of being baffled by their choices. So let's go through the good choices first. I'm going to say it up front, the weight of these is really satisfying. They weigh just slightly less than a set of contact poi, so for someone who's trained extensively with that type of poi, these feel really comfortable to just dive into. Also, the LEDs on these are incredibly bright, like bright enough to light the performer bright. I've never been a person that's been super gung-ho about how bright my glow props are, so that's not a huge incentive to me. But I've found myself when practicing after dark, I'll actually frequently use these like a lantern or a flashlight, posting them next to my backpack so I don't accidentally leave anything on the ground. Also, one of the modes for these poi features an accelerometer that works in a really cool fashion. When the poi is at rest, it glows yellow. When it starts to accelerate, it glows purple, and when it's in motion, it glows blue. There's some really interesting possibilities that come out of using this mode, but one of my favorites is as a training mode. Similar to how some people use bowls of water to train spinning more smoothly, there's a lot of potential for this mode to be used to gauge how in sync your hands and movements are on each side of your body. Okay, so now the WTF moments. I'm going to say that overall the tether needs just a little bit of work and pick that apart a little bit. The first and biggest red flag for me here is that the rings that hold the assemblies for the connection points together are split rings rather than solid rings. Why is this a big deal? Because split rings, unlike welded ones, will stretch over time and eventually the tether will come loose. That's not a question of if, but when. I've talked with the amazing CEO Brian Lim about the design and he's assured me that the next run of these poi will not use split rings. That said, if you've got one of the first run poi like I do, keep an eye out for this. Some additional minor things include the tether being black. It's only a minor quibble because it means that there's no easy way to mark where you want to cut the tether when you want to set a custom length. I wound up just tying knots to mark that spot and then cutting right under the knot to dial in the length that I wanted. I'm on the fence about the loop of cord being used as the connection point to the tether. I can see it ultimately being a problem if the edges of the silicone shell start to cut through it, or it may be perfectly fine. I've never seen a connection point like that before, so I've got no idea what the long-term issues might be. Finally, there's no option available for a ball handle through email. I don't know about you guys, but I don't really use loop handles anymore, so I just threw a set of palm grips on these almost right away. Outside of the issues with the tethers, the only other issue I really had was the brightness. Wasn't that something I also liked? Yes, but. Because these poi are so bright in really dark environments, I often found I had a hard time seeing the ground, because my eyes would never fully adapt to the dark with such a bright light source so close to them. It would actually be really nice if the brightness could be adjustable. So, overall, I have to admit, I actually do like these. They're neither the most versatile nor the most innovative glow poi I've ever played with, but I think they're a solid option in that mid-price tier I mentioned before. If you've been waiting for something heavier or brighter, give them the spin and see what you think. They're right on the edge of what I'd consider acceptable for beginners in terms of both weight and softness. They're far more forgiving than other options that have this kind of weight, but a hard collision to the head or genitals is still going to hurt pretty badly. They run for $99.95 a pair and are available at amazinglights.com. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy the flow. Peace. Hey, so this is a shout out to all of my wonderful supporters over on Patreon. Patreon is a voluntary subscription-based service where people can sign up to support creators such as myself for a small donation every month, and it allows those of us that do things like create YouTube videos like this to be able to do so for a living. Uh, so if you are enjoying the work that I'm creating or you appreciate it in any way, shape, or form, please go and visit me over at patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi. And uh, thank you in advance, and again, to all my current supporters, thank you.